guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to refinish this table. I purchased it at Goodwill for only $7.99. It has quite a bit of wear and tear on it, but I think with some TLC I can bring it back to life. I want to change out the wheels, give it a fresh coat of paint, and totally transform this top. As you notice, it does have a flap that's really cool. I honestly thought that this was a sewing table, but if it was a sewing table, you would have the flap come out on this side. So if you know what this table was for, please leave a comment below. This little cart needs updating fast. I've cleaned it, but I'm sure I'll have to wipe it down again when all the hardware is off. These poor caster wheels have lots of wear and tear, so they will probably have to be tossed. I found a set of casters that have a vintage look and they will definitely be more functional as well as beautiful. I will keep and use these brackets that help hold the casters in place. I'll just have to paint them for an updated look. Be sure to keep all hardware together so little pieces won't get misplaced. You can use old ice cube trays or plastic baggies. Taking apart more complex hardware, like this mechanism for the folding side, can be tricky when you put it back together. Take a quick picture with your phone to help remember how it all fits back together. Now with all the hardware off and wiped down, I can start painting. I've decided to use white chalk paint by Waverly, followed by the Waverly Clear Wax. You can buy these at Walmart. Did you know that painting is a great de-stressing mechanism? Science says that painting can help reduce stress and develop happy hormones in the body. Although this may not be artistic painting, I can always clear my mind when I take on a painting project. For these caster brackets, I use black spray paint. I follow this coating with a second coat. After three coats of the chalk paint, 
I'm going to sand and distress the cart. I'm using 220 grit sandpaper. What I'm mostly going to distress are the corners and these little rounded bumps to add character to the piece. Normally I would sand outside, but it's been raining for a few days. Don't forget to wipe off all that dust. Now for the wax. Paint the wax on in a thin layer, allowing a full day of dry time. I use a soft cloth to buff the wax after drying. I will put all the hardware back in place. Here are the cute little casters I found on Amazon. I will leave a link below in the description. I love the antique finish as well as the cute shape. And I can already tell how smoothly this cabinet will roll. Okay, so great news for me. As you remember, I was going to reattach the flap to the opposite side, so this way I could use that flap for my sewing. And I had gotten my drill ready, and I was about to make, you know, the holes that I needed. I remembered when I was unscrewing all the screws, I noticed that there were extra holes everywhere. And I thought, that's weird. Whoever put this cabinet together or made this cabinet, they pre-drilled holes for both sides. So you could have the flap on either side. So big bonus for me, I won't have to do all that pre-drilling and, and measuring and all that. So wish me luck. I'm going to prime the tabletop with this TEC multi-purpose primer and spread it on with a foam brush. This is a good surface prep for peel and stick tiles. Yes, I said peel and stick tiles. That will be the tabletop transformation. Super, super easy fix. I'm going to apply it in even smooth strokes and not allowing it to puddle or get thicker in places.
Now I'll apply two coats of the chalk paint to the table front trim. I didn't paint the edge all around the tabletop until after the primer was applied because I didn't want the painted finish to be affected. After measuring my tabletop and the table flap, I measured the tile pieces. I found the tile at Home Depot and I'll leave a link below. The reason I chose tile is because I wanted it to be a project that anybody could do. I wanted something that you could put down and know that it was going to come out exactly as you envisioned. Not everything has to be hardcore DIY. You can have simple, easy fixes that aren't so involved, that don't require a lot of tools. And so that's what I was going for. I wanted anybody to be able to do this kind of a project. I also couldn't rely on the table to be sanded and stained. It, it's not wood, it's particle board. So it's very, very damaged on the top, very bubbled. And so I had to find something that would mask that and be very durable. Let's face it, tile is very durable. It's meant for us to walk on. And it's beautiful. They make so many beautiful variations of tile that you can use for just about anything. And it's so easy because you peel and stick. How easy is that? Now let's take a look at this little beauty. She's come a long way. This updated sewing cart is exactly what I needed for functionality and beauty. Well, that's it for my video. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Please leave me a like if my video helped you in any way with any future project. I will be posting videos every Monday. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And as always, thanks again for watching.